Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm here today to do my plan with me in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. It is a Walmart Traveler's Notebook by Pen and Gear, and I am using it as a food diary with inserts that are planners from the Dollar Tree. So I actually recovered both of these inserts, which are planners. This is the monthly planner, and I kind of have an idea of how I want to use this now. I think I'm going to use it for household or staples for my home to keep track of things like toilet paper, paper towels, trash bags when I need to buy them because instead of waiting until I get to the point of running out, I want to see how often I need to buy them, those things and then just automatically at that time buy it. If that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. But I kind of want to see the frequency of when I buy those things to know what frequency I actually need to buy them and it would be great if I could just buy everything at one time. So I'm thinking if that's how I'm going to use this. Uh, someone asked me about the this monthly if it had expenses in the back. Yes it does. It has expense for every month and then it also has a uh, phone book or address book in the back and it has the uh, alpha so that you can put them in alphabetical order if you use it for that purpose. I also kind of have an idea of how I want to repurpose this because I don't need the uh, address book or phone number section either. And yeah, I think I'll be, be repurposing everything in the back of this. But this is what the monthly looks like. And this is the foil cover that I made using a laser printer, cardstock, reactive foil, and a laminator. And I'll link to the video in the iCard up above so that you can see how I did that. This pen is from JD in Brooklyn. You can use my code Rochelle20 for items that you purchase from JD in Brooklyn. I use their stickers quite often. So if you've seen previous videos, lots of the stickers that I've used come from there. So in my Facebook group right now, there is a weekly planner challenge going on. If you'd like to participate, join us over in the group. There is a link in the description box below to the group. And these are all the prompts. So I've got them pretty much in every planner. Anywho, so this is the weekly insert and this is what I'm going to be working with today. The tassel by the way is from Dollar Tree. I think I got it a year or two ago and the poof I think is also from Dollar Tree. Okay so here's last week's spread and I will link to uh, the plan with me in the iCard above. I only wrote in one day of what I've been eating and I haven't been keeping up with this like I should and I'm actually paying for it because I've started having stomach issues and now I don't know what I ate when and what caused the stomach pain. So I need to dedicate myself to doing that. So in this video I'm going to be planning from January 6th through the 12th. I've pulled out these washies. Um, I'll probably use some other but I kind of wanted to stay with the black and white theme as a start. Um, I had not planned anything for the top of the page but for now let's just go ahead and cover the um, grayed out areas with this washi from Capital Chic Designs. And I kind of have an idea of something I want to try with the weekend because I don't like the way they have that set up doesn't give me any, any room so I'm thinking I could put a strip across there um, or something to cover this and then split it in half this way so this is just a, a spare piece of sticker paper that I was throwing away and let's see if I can de-wrinkle it and <laughs> use it on this page. I don't really even need the whole thing. So I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. It's 
it's not really cut 100% straight, but I think for what I'm doing, it can work. And you can always just white it out and it's not perfect on that end. But uh, yeah, let's just try it. And then I would just split that in half. So there's where half would be. And I could just run a piece of washi, skinny washi down the center there. Let's try it. I see the perfect color. Okay, so it looks a little wonky because of the sticker paper, but I think we can work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that out, even though I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. And I could do the same thing up here, just put a little piece of sticker paper over it, but... We'll do what we normally do. And I was looking through dates and holidays. And I thought I saw a nice quote or something that I could use. Was it dates and holidays? It's your year. I think I'm going to use it. And I saw the XOXO. I think I want to use that too. Where did I just see that at? There it is. So let's see if we can get this off. Before I let that jump down on the paper, um, I was also looking at this gold in here. Maybe we can use some of this. Where's the gold flowers? Or maybe I should use the black, then I won't have problems. Where'd they go? Let's see. Haven't used florals in so long. I had these printed out previously with the foam memo, so I'm going to go ahead and use these. Um, if you want to know more about the foam memo, I will link in the iCard above uh, some videos where I've used it. I may end up using it in this video, I don't know, but if you're interested, it is a portable thermal printer and I am able to print things, files out easily. It only prints black and white. Um, but there is no toner necessary, no ink necessary, 
and they do have archival papers available also so you don't have to worry about your image disappearing rapidly so I'm just trimming these and I'm going to place them down I don't know why I didn't put the sticker over that line. I should have. Oh well. Do I want to do this like this or like this? That made no sense whatsoever. Let's see if I can fix it. So this is a digital that I've been holding on to for a while. Um, I don't know when or if I'm going to release it in the shop, but I was going to release it in a variety of colors. But I think I'm going to use it here. But before I do that, all of these came from Webster's Pages. They're freebies. So I'm going to use... Um, the numbers from here and all I did was put them into Silhouette Studio you could probably do the same thing with Cricut I'm not sure um, what file format they came in if they were pings but that's what I did I put pulled them into Silhouette Studio and turned them into stickers I don't know if that's cool or not, but <laughs> that's how I'm going to put it. And then I'm going to put this right here. Let's add a few more flowers down there to try to help that weird looking area out. Oh, so you could use a push pin. So I wrinkled my paper a little bit. Let's see if I can smooth that out. Matter of fact, let's just press everything down good on the other side. And voila. It's all black and white with just a hint of the champagne gold color. Let's see if I can find a doll that I want to use. I was going to go ahead and use my JDM Brooklyn Bun Girl, the big one. I could use her. She fits right in perfectly. Or I could finally use her 
because she's all lacy even though she's whimsical and not really what I normally do I think I might use her because she fits perfectly with the theme she's nice and slim this sticker is from oh my gosh I cannot remember the name of the shop off the top of my head but I will put it on the screen um, it's a digital shop I think it's all digital and yeah so I'm gonna put this coffee nope I don't want to put that on there it's a little big I even love the boxes that came with this I need to use these I'm gonna use these in an upcoming spread for sure um the oi and poodle shop it's a strange name that's the name of the shop oi oi and poodle but i bought that kit a long time ago or that sheet of digitals and i've been holding on to her and not using her so there we go so i think that's going to be it because basically i just go back in here and fill in what i've eaten for the each day and I could do my water intake uh, stickers too, but I'm not going to put those on there right now. And actually, I can't use this though. Um, this does have uh, come with a tracker. The washi tape from Capital Chic. So I could take this off and put it on let's do that I'm just gonna put that one little piece on there I cannot cut straight to save my life look at that Wow so I put that down to do track vitamins for the week so I think I'm going to go ahead and run this across the top a little bit too before I call it quits something up here to tie it all together hopefully everything will stick okay so I think that's it let's go ahead and pop this back in to this traveler's notebook so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic. Visit my other channel Journal Life's Journey for live craft videos, junk journals, and weekly vlogs. You can also find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.